RPA software is often promoted as a low-code or no-code solution for business process automation. It is true that you don't need to have any previous experience and knowledge in programming to become an RPA developer. However, it would really help you start your journey and become a better developer. You don't need to be a senior software engineer, however, starting with programming basics is a good practice. I will mention both free and paid ways to gain those basic programming skills. So, what programming languages and tools you should start with? Microsoft Excel As a first step, I highly recommend you to learn Microsoft Excel with help of Tutorial for Beginners by Edureka. A lot of processes that developers automate are connected to Excel. It is a number one tool for sales, finance and accounting departments. As you will often automate the processes they do daily, you should also have a great understanding of Microsoft Excel. Mostly focus on formulas, data formats and tables. This tutorial covers in-depth knowledge about different Excel formulas and functions, conditional formatting and lookup. On Edureka channel you can also find more advanced Excel videos. After you have a good knowledge of Excel, take a step and learn VBA, because that actually is the first automation language you will for sure use as an RPA developer. I recommend Excel VBA Beginner Tutorial by Learnit Training. VBA, Visual Basic for Applications, is a programming language of Excel and other Office programs. With Excel VBA you can automate tasks in Excel by writing so-called macros. Macro is an action or a set of actions that you can run on your Excel file to perform some task. For example, copy and paste a row from one sheet to another automatically, or plot a diagram from your set of data, even send an email. To get more advanced knowledge, you can also watch another video of learning training called Excel VBA Advanced Tutorial. Paidway there are also a lot of paid resources to learn Excel and VB, especially on Udemy. I would strongly recommend the following course, Microsoft Excel, Excel from Beginner to Advanced by Office Newbie. With 18 hours of videos, this course will give you a lot of knowledge about Excel and VBA. Before moving to a more complex programming language, I strongly recommend you to watch the Introduction to Programming and Computer Science to learn about fundamentals of programming. It will be very helpful for you to feel more confident in IT world. For coding beginners, I would strongly recommend to start with C Sharp. It might be slightly confusing for you in the beginning. However, I don't want to recommend you such simple language as HTML, because from my experience it will not give you such advantage when looking for a first job in automation as C Sharp. You can start your learning by watching C Sharp tutorial full course for beginners by Free Code Camp. C Sharp is one of the most popular programming languages and can be used for a variety of things including Windows applications, game development and enterprise software. Knowing C Sharp opens a great deal of doors for you as a developer. If you choose C Sharp as your first programming language, you can pick up a lot of concepts easily enough. As this is one of the most popular programming languages, you will have a ton of material on the internet that can help you resolve problems and errors in your code. This 4.5 hours long course will give you a full introduction into all of the core concepts in C Sharp. Another great course is C Sharp Tutorial for Beginners by Programming with Mosh. This C Sharp tool for beginners helps you learn C Sharp programming from scratch. I recommend you watch both of those videos if you have time, because it might be difficult to catch everything right away. Mosh Hamedani is actually an instructor on Udemy and has great C-Sharp courses with a very detailed explanation. You can start with C-Sharp Basics for Beginners. Every section comes with a few bite-sized video lectures and a quiz or programming exercise. These exercises are carefully chosen from academic and real-world examples. His course will also teach you best practices and shortcuts to help you become a better developer. I personally really like his style of teaching and his courses will make you a master of C-Sharp, however you need to pay to access this course. Those basic programming skills will be enough for you as a beginner in process automation. However, later in this course we'll be discussing some more advanced languages and technologies you can learn. In the next lecture I will show you some more ways to learn coding.